Oh yeah, Vicky, well done today. Chipping the ball really, really well. As we said, technically, not a lot really going wrong there. Just getting a little bit close here with your hands, I think, at dress. Just not giving you much room now for your arms to swing through the hitting area. But in terms of the actual swing, as we said, set up on the left-hand side. Very, very good. Hands slightly in front of the golf ball. Weight favouring that left side. It just stays there throughout the swing. We're just judging the length of shot now with the back swing. Good strike and the ball coming through nicely. Very, very good sound, solid technique there. As we said, in terms of the practice, though, it would be quite a good idea just to get a towel, sort of place a towel on the green, sort of six, seven feet on the green, and then just try and land the ball on that with varying clubs and just see where the ball ends up in terms of release after it's landed there. So we start with a seven nine. We're going to probably get one third of the air time. Two thirds of them will be roll. Pitching wedge will probably be around about 50-50. And your sand down will be more like two thirds air time and one third roll. But if you can practice that, it will give you the tools then to be able to play these shots around the green, knowing full well you're playing the right shot and landing it in the right spot. The other game was we set to try and play that sort of par 18. You take one golf ball to the chipping green, a couple of clubs and a putter, and play nine par twos around the green. Sort of three easy, three medium, and three hard shots, and just try and get a score. And then the second time you go back out, you try and beat that score. At least that then is going to put some consequence in your practice, rather than just in the same shot over and over again, and just improving your reactions. So, as we said, setup-wise, good. Just give us a bit more room. Technically, it was very, very sound. I think we can just have a bit more understanding with how much the golf ball is going to release from landing and then you'll be able to choose the right club for the shot when you're on the golf course. And obviously, with your practice a bit more consequence, I'm sure you put a bit more pressure, you'll start getting more from your practice rather than just doing the same shot over and over again. So hope that all helps. Any questions, you can give me a shout. I'll see you soon.